shoulder tackle does the job. I can't wait to see what the big dog, Roman Reigns, has in store tonight. And with a handicap match like this, things are bound to get out of hand. And I can't help but wonder how the champ's game plan differs, if at all, knowing that the title is not on the line here tonight. It's all academic from here. Look at Roman Reigns here. Surprised by a devastating kick. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. What grace! Float over in DDT! He's inflicting some serious pain here. Oh, I think this man means business. John Cena is starting to take some deep breaths in there. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes back more motivated than ever. Well, I don't think his performance here tonight is necessarily one I would point to if I were to instruct an up-and-comer on how to win a handicap match. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game they're on. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. He's inflicting some serious pain here. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors of all. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the loose. Seth Rollins is looking for the decisive end. Oh, super kick! I don't know, is that enough to stop Cena? Seth Rollins is in position. Roman Reigns lives by mottos like one versus all, and I can, I did, I will again. Oh, double impact. I don't know, is that enough to stop Cena? Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns. Dean Ambrose is a force within the ring. If history has shown us anything when it comes to Roman Reigns, it's that the man is fearless. And when the big dog is on the hunt, opposing superstars better beware. We all know that Roman Reigns is not going to back down from a fight. Reigns will defend the Roman Empire with everything he's got. And if Roman's the only one defending it, he's okay with that too. There's the Irish whip. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman at Fastlane. The big dog never... Dean Ambrose, this is going to be big! I'm not so sure the body's supposed to absorb that type of impact. I don't know, is that enough to stop Cena? I think Dean Ambrose just secured this match. Oh, no! Oh, I think this man needs business. I'm uh, joining the U.S. Open Challenge conversation you guys started earlier. I don't see this bravado would lead to a short United States title reign, but to what you want. Superman punch! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. There's almost no rebounding from a strike like that. Uh, 
A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off. He's inflicting some serious pain here. I don't know. Is that enough to stop Cena? There he goes, crashing to the floor. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giants' opponents could be in the ring at the same time, where one man is in the ring and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. Oh, the great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate... Uh-oh. We know what Reigns is looking to do here. He's always had great stamina. See if it lasts here. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Relentless attack on the windpipe. He wants no part of the outside. Roman Reigns gathering attention in a hurry. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? Thrust right to the throat. The man can't breathe, the man can't fight. I don't know, is that enough to stop Cena? In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable What's Roman Reigns putting together here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, I think this man needs business. That has got to be it. Reigns sizing up the target. Spear! I don't know, is that enough to stop Cena? Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against Logan. Cover here. And he got a near fall out of it. He's still in this. Watch out, Roman Reigns is on the attack now. Some serious pain here. There's no coming back from that. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Oh, I think this man needs business. No, there's the reversal. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, Superman punch! Good night! That's what he was looking for, Michael. And Reigns picks up the win! You can't help but be impressed by the big dog. Well, the numbers don't always tell the story in a handicap match. Here's another look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. This entire match was just one big highlight reel. And I didn't expect Here anything are your else. Winners, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose. The Shield. Put it in the books. And there was no question about that one. Cena lost. <laughs> Mr. Never Give Up should have quit before the match even started. I think Boston is stunned by the outcome here, guys.